Thanks, Mia. Scams are a real issue, but knowing how to identify them will keep you from becoming a victim. If you're looking for employment, be cautious when applying and accepting offers. Don't assume a job listing is genuine because you saw it on a legitimate job website. If you suspect something is a scam, report it to the site. Be careful of listings that claim no experience or skills are required, or if you are asked to pay upfront for materials or training. As a general rule, thoroughly research the company before applying. Phone calls are still one of the biggest avenues scammers use. In fact, in recent months, Riverside County Sheriff Department has warned residents to be aware of a scam going around in which victims are threatened with arrest if they don't send money to pay fines. Be assured that Sheriff's Department would never call asking for payment in exchange for deleting a warrant or preventing an arrest. When it comes to receiving phone calls, don't answer your phone if you don't recognize the number and immediately block anyone that seems suspicious. If you've already answered the phone, pay attention to what's being asked of you. If anyone asks for passwords or bank details, hang up immediately. If you have any doubts at all, call the company back on their legitimate phone number. And of course, emails and text messages are another way scammers bait their victim. Don't click any links in an unsolicited email or text message. Look up the company's phone number on your own and call the company to ask if they made the request. Thoroughly examine email or web addresses. Often scammers use slight spelling differences to trick your eye and gain your trust. Be careful what you download. Never open an email attachment from someone you don't know. The FBI has already reported a growing number of COVID-19 related scams in the form of fake CDC emails and fraudulent charitable organizations. Always do your research before clicking on any links claiming to have information on the virus or donating to any charity online. Hopefully these tips will help you become more alert and take necessary precautions to ensure you don't end up a victim of fraud. Back to you, Mia.